Swati Maliwal, chairperson Delhi Commission for Women. Swati Maliwal, the opposition is using this to suggest that the Ahmad party government, which otherwise attacks the BJP uh, whenever there, is, uh, there are crimes against women, now is on the back foot. Why didn't the DCW know more earlier is the principal charge they are making. Was there an attempt made to protect this official, this bureaucrat? So firstly and first and foremost, I just want to ask that why is it that your channel has been spreading this false lies right since morning that this particular officer was a part of the Delhi Commission for Women? On your esteemed channel, this message is being circulated again and again that he was a team member. How is he a team member of the Delhi Commission for Women? Was he, he a was deputy director uh, in the Women's and Child in Development the Women Department? And Child Development Ministry. Yes, he is. But he's not a member, he's not a team member, he has never been appointed in the Delhi Commission for Women. I don't know him, nobody knows him. So it is first and foremost, I think that this kind of a lie from such an esteemed channel should not be propagated. And all such politicians who are spreading this false information, because it is very damaging for the commission. The commission is functioning against rapists. How can a channel uh, completely spread this false lie that this rapist was actually a part of the Delhi Commission for Women? First and foremost, I want to just put my objection at that. Now the second question... He was a is, senior officer in the Department of Women and Child Development. The Delhi Police. Yes, but it's not the Delhi Commission for Women. I hope you understand. You are an educated made. person. You would understand that there is a difference between an autonomous body called the Delhi Commission for Women and the Women and Child Development Ministry, which comes under the Delhi government. So there is a distinction and it is a very clear distinction. And it's very unfortunate that your channel has been blatantly spreading this lie right from morning that he's, a my, he's my team member. If he's my team member, why am I sitting outside the hospital right now desperately trying to help the survivor? That's one point. The other the thing, sir, is that I've issued notices to the Delhi police. I've also issued notices to the Delhi government because I think it's very important to find out where all was he posted and whether any previous complaint has come against him and what action was taken on that complaint. So we've launched an inquiry in the matter. Now, I wanted to meet the survivor because that is my statutory duty. When I came here in the hospital at 11 a.m., since then till now, I have not been allowed to meet the survivor by the Delhi police. So I fail to understand that in a case, an FIR gets registered, the Delhi police does not make any arrests for eight days. And after that, when the Delhi Commission for Women uh, gets to know about the case and wants to meet the survivor, is not allowing me to meet the survivor. So it raises a lot of apprehensions in my mind mm -hmm. that what is it that the Delhi Delhi police is trying to hide. Why can't the Delhi Commission for Women chairperson meet the survivor and do her statutory role? But the fact, Swati Maliwal, is that while you are making this distinction, saying he's an office officer of the Women and Child Development and not the Delhi Commission of Women, the truth also is that here is someone who is uh, a senior officer with the government department, the government controlled by the Ahmadbi Party. And the charge that is be, which is being made now by the opposition is that there was an attempt being made to protect him. Have you seen any evidence that there was an attempt being made to protect this officer, that the Delhi police or indeed government officials in some way were trying to protect him at any time? So there are two things. First, that there is there are these politicians from the ruling party who are going on saying that he was in my office, he was my team member, and I completely object to it. I have nothing to do with him. And the Delhi Commission for Women is very much an autonomous body, which is not ruled and mm -hmm. it is not comes under any department or any government. That is one and f first and foremost. The other thing is I want to meet the survivor exactly for this because I want to understand why is it that the Delhi Police did not make arrests in a case in which a FIR under POXO section has been registered for so many days. Was there any pressure on the survivor? Is there any pressure on the survivor? Because if something like that is, my role is to strengthen her voice. That is exactly what I'm trying to do. It is very easy for me. I came in the morning, the Delhi police told me, let's go away. I could have gone back, but I've been sitting here for the past nine hours just wanting to meet the survivor because I think that she has made very, very serious allegations against somebody very powerful. This man has clout clearly because he, the Delhi police failed to arrest him for so many days. Now, who is protecting this particular person? Why is it that the Delhi police has not arrested him for so many days is the question that even I'm trying to answer and ask. 
For that, I need to meet the survivor and I need to understand what is the sequence of events. My, when my, did she reveal it? How what many I, people why are you being not allowed? Meet? What Nobody is the is argument being given to you that you are not being allowed to meet the survivor? There is no argument. The Delhi police is so shameless that since now, the morning 11 o'clock a.m. I've been sitting here and they have not even bothered to tell me why is it that they have instructed the hospital authorities not to allow me inside. I'm trying to do my job. Instead of helping me, Delhi police is obstructing my statutory work and the world is questioning me why am I not doing my job when I'm wanting to do my job. For the past nine and a half hours I've been mm -hmm. sitting here. Delhi police is shameless enough not to arrest this rapist immediately the FIR is registered and now they are acting in complete uh, like goons why is it that they are not making me meet the survivor what is it that they have to hide what is it that the survivor will reveal to me I'm scared for her life right now no other authority has met the survivor only the Delhi police is meeting the survivor so why is it that the Delhi police does not want the Delhi Commission for Women which is a statutory bo body made purposely for this purpose to meet the survivor. It's, okay. it's really shameful on the part of the Delhi police. Let me leave it there Swati Maliwal. We'll wait and see what action really is taken by the Delhi police. They've arrested the concerned individual. We'll wait and see what other steps are now taken and whether you are allowed to meet the survivor. Was anyone trying to protect this officer? I appreciate you joining me to give us your perspective.